I mentioned I was expecting a lot of company this trip, and a few of them that are coming in are a, a writer, and she's bringing a photographer in, and they really want to give some good pictures of all these spruce grouse that are flying around all the time, and sitting here feeding and getting my grit. Well, you see the grass has kind of grown in on my my grit trail here, so maybe I'd use the weedy and maybe I'd scratch it up and make it pretty appetizing. So if he does get some pictures, he'll have some nice natural environment out here. We'll give it a try. They didn't get it, so. All right. Hey, that's some of Bonnie's world famous apple pies you're giving away there. But this is just, just the crust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on. <laughs> you like mine better. We need some air traffic control around here. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you keep them. It's amazing how fast birds mature, huh? They go from being chicks to. You're welcome. I'm going to sit down my chair for a little bit. I think a lot of times I spend more time keeping some of this old stuff going than I ever get to use it, but when it works, it's really nice.
know for sure if I can keep it rolling and cutting and operating properly. You can really make some hay with that thing. Makes it all worthwhile in the end, most of the time. A year ago at the site of Jonas's old cabin, I came up with the brush saw and I cleared all this stuff off. I cut it off at the ground and you can see all this nice maple brush, how it's grown back into a, a really good browse for the deer this winter. Of course, I left all the rose bushes and the cherry trees, so got some good wildlife food there if they come walk along the trail. You missed your morning feed, didn't you? Yeah, what happened? You need to be brave. Come on, shy one. You're not shy. Must be the shy one over here. You better get in here. Yeah, see? Patience. It's okay. Well, I got some of the path over to the areas of the west mode and a little bit of weedy and kind of tough this morning. It's kind of wettish, so I think this afternoon it dries out more. The grass will be, some will be more brittle. I think it'll go through it a lot better, but. Full? Come on, two pieces left. It's the spruce grubs out here this morning and so I, I didn't come out to feed them when they were around at first light. And when I did come out with a cup of coffee, they were, they were long gone. One little tidbit left. Hardly worth coming in for, is it? This is a really nice bird to have show up in the cabin, a black-backed woodpecker. It's a male. You can tell that by the yellow on the forehead. Weather's been pretty good. Morning, I just checked the thermometer. I see it's about nine o'clock now, but it's 10 degrees Celsius, 50 in the Fahrenheit scale. But just cool enough, it feels good to start up a fire every morning and heat the cabin up. Then I just let it go out and start again the next morning. But to get it going, I really like these. This is a Block of white cedar. Pretty tough. A stump. But get these little pieces like this, and if I get some more birch bark in there to that and this, it really makes getting the fire going really easy. Since I let the fire go out, I can have it all stocked up the night before, and then when I wake up in the morning, and 
put the coffee water on and then reach over and get the fire going and get the morning routine started. Gonna get my hatchet out here. A little easier to use. The pieces the smaller the better. Get these little slivers of that's the best. 